हेलो एंड वेलकम इन दिस स्पेशल सीरीज ऑफ फ्रिक्वेंटली आज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन टुडे विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट कॉल्ड फ्रिक्वेंसी डिवाइडर एंड इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रिक्वेंटली आज इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन ऑन द अदर हैंड सो विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस कॉन्सेप्ट फर्स्ट विद द हेल्प ऑफ ए ट्रू टेबल देन वील सी द timing diagram or we you can say a clock wave form for this and then we will try to write a simple hdl code for this with the help of linear simple test bench and then after we will try to see the schematic view for the same so that you can understand how the hdl is translating the code into the piece of hardware okay so let's take a look on this now if you know uh the frequency divider it's a simple dividing the clock input clock okay so for this we'll take a very simple example let's consider a black box okay this is what a black box we have we are giving an input as a clock signal okay and this is what the frequency divider and we want the output to be divided this clock signal to be divided by 2 or you can say f by 2 divide by 4 so f by 4 divide by 8 f by 8 and divide by 16 okay so we want this black box to give the four outputs okay clock is an input and four output we want from this black box okay and let's try to understand the truth table for that it is very very simple so this is what the lsb bit okay and this is what the msb bit so this f by 2 is nothing but a uh, frequency divide by 2 okay and as you can see that at every cycle it's toggling okay so for one cycle it is zero another cycle it's one for the next cycle it is zero another cycle it's one so it will continue toggling at every cycle okay and if you see here you'll find that f by 4 it's toggling for uh, every two cycles okay so for two cycle it's zero for two cycle it's one for next two cycle it's zero for next two cycle it's one and so on okay now try to see the f by 8 okay so f by 8 is nothing but for first four cycle it's zero and for next four cycle it's one and so on okay and if you see f by 16 you'll find that uh, 16 means it's for eight cycle it's zero okay and for next eight cycle it's one okay so it's toggling after 8 clock cycles okay it is nothing but the frequency divided by 16 very simple and we will try to understand this concept uh, using this timing diagram or you can say that the clock wave okay see this is what a passage of the clock i am marking here so that it become easy for us to understand okay these are the passages of the clock and we will try to understand this with uh, the crystal sim also how this waveform is coming okay let me mark this first so that uh, it become easy for us okay so these are the passage of the clock where i have marked with this orange color okay now see this is our uh, <coughs> f by 2 okay let me take another pin f by 2 you will find that this 
FY2 is toggling at every clock cycles okay for one clock cycle one complete clock cycle it's zero next clock cycle here to here this passes to this passage it is one okay so it's toggling at every cycle next cycle it's zero next cycle it's one okay similarly if you see here for uh, f by 4 you will find that it's zero for two clock cycle this to this okay two clock cycles it's zero and for next two clock cycle it's one similarly next clock next two clock cycle it's zero and so on okay if you see the f by 8 you will find that it's zero for uh, four clock cycles and one for four clock cycle as we see as we saw here okay similarly if we if you see f by 16 you will find that it's zero for uh, eight cycles and one for eight cycles okay so if you count you will find eight cycles are here okay and this is nothing but the frequency divide by 16 as we saw here so uh, zero for eight cycles and one for eight cycles so this is what a simple waveform for that okay now we will see the hdl code for this okay and particularly for this i have write this uh, i written this i have uh, written this code in system verilog hdl and you we can write this code for uh, by using the verilog hdl okay it's homework for you so that you can also get some confidence to write this code it is very simple okay see here module end module <clears throat> inside this the logic is written it is very simple input logic i have declared a clock this is what our input clock okay and four outputs f2 to this f16 okay you can take any name here and this is what one count variable i have taken so it's nothing but a three down to zero to rest to power 4 16 combinations are possible 0 to 15 as we saw in the truth table okay and the logic is very simple now this is what a sequential block always underscore ff at direct passage of the clock so at every passage of the clock what i am doing i am i am increasing this count variable okay so this count variable is increasing by one at every clock cycle okay now this f2 is very simple i am assigning this count zero to f2 because we saw here right f2 is nothing but count zero okay so i'm assigning this f2 to this count zero similarly f4 to this count one f8 to this count two and f16 to this count three okay so as you can see a very simple simple logic which is nothing but uh, divide by two four eight and sixteen okay now if you see a simple test bench for the it it is very simple now all these uh, variables logic i have declared here and this is what a design instantiation okay dut name you can take any name here and this is what our name of the rdl okay and uh, within parenthesis dot star uh, in case of Verilog, you need to write the order base or name base instantiation. All the signals name you need to write over here. In system Verilog, this is what the beauty of system Verilog. Dot star is enough to instantiate our design here. Okay. And now I am giving always block in order to generate a clock. At five time unit, I am saying that toggle this clock. Clock is equal to not of clock. Okay. And uh, within initial begin block. What I am saying is clock is equal to zero. First, I am initializing this clock signal to zero. And then at um, 20 time unit, I am saying that suspend the simulation. Okay, dollar is stop. 
so uh, remember always uh, whenever you are using always block or forever block for generating a clock or any signal then you should use this uh, system task to suspend the simulation or terminate the simulation so for suspending simulation we are using dollar stop or for terminating we are using dollar finish okay uh, any uh, anyone you can use here okay now if uh, after writing this code if you want to the the schematic view you will find that this is what an schematic view with the test bench and the uh, DUT, okay? And as you know, this test bench is not a synthesizable, synthesizable one, okay? So only DUT is a synthesizable one. So after, if you uh, more zoom in this, double click, so you will find this diagram, okay? As you can see over here, clock is toggling here, yeah, this not get, and we are giving this signal to the black box of a DUT input and at the output we are getting this four signals okay so if you double click over here uh, you will find that uh, it should it will look like this so this is what our black box okay input is clock and we are getting this four signals at the output side okay and if you double click here uh, for more zoom purpose you will find the diagram will look like this meaning the piece of hardware okay so that uh, hdl code will translate like this in the hardware okay so this is what uh, the H, uh, schematic view for that hdl code that the dut code okay that rtl code so these are the signals uh, f2 f4 f8 and f16 for outputs at the output side and at input side you will find that clock signal as an input and this is what a piece of audio for that it's very simple now what we'll see we'll uh, map this entire code test bench and uh, dut code rtl code in our question sim and we'll try to see the waveform for for the same okay so already i have written a code here to save our time okay same code i have just copy here and then we'll try to uh, see the waveform for this okay so go to transcript for this and then you need to write a command vlog plus acc rtl dot sv so this is what my file name you need to write a file name over here and just enter you'll find that it will compile our code and you can see over here zero errors and zero warnings here okay then uh, for simulating this code you need to write a command vsim hyphen v opt a r g s arguments maybe i hope it's the long form is argument only so a r g s is equal to plus a c c work is our uh, default working directory where all our code is, is same work dot test bench name this is our test bench name okay so this is the command for simulating the code vsim space hyphen v opt args is equal to plus acc work dot test bench name and then you need to press an into so it will take some time and then after that this window appear after that go to objects select all signal control a and control w in order to map these signals over this uh, waveform window okay if you find all signals are mapped here go to transcript and then type run hyphen all and enter so you'll find that the output is appear here okay so just we will zoom in this and see the same waveform as we saw in that uh, <clears throat> diagram okay so this is what the time period at five time unit see it's struggling at every five time unit okay and this is what a complete cycle so for f by 2 it's well, for one cycle it's 0 and next cycle it's 1 and so on f by 4 for two cycles 0 and for next two cycles 1 and 0 and 1 and so on okay and for f by 4 next for, for first four cycles 0 and next four cycles 1 and so on and for f by 16 so for first uh, eight cycles will be 
will be zero and next four cycles one okay and so on and after 200 night time unit we are saying that suspend the simulation so our simulation is suspending over here so this is what the simple explanation for the frequency divider so with this i hope that you have understood the concept of frequency divider and remember it is one of the most frequently asked interview question okay so i hope you have understood and enjoyed this video and uh, put your comments in the comment box for the next topic so that we will try to understand the next topic from your side okay so thank you for listening this video thanks